Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro the Dragon 2. This is Ripto's Rage, we're playing Ripto's Rage. <laughs> uh, last time we did Mystic Marsh over here, that level is 100%, as you can see. Uh, this time we're just going to have a bit of a look around the hub world, because we haven't seen very much of it yet in this particular, uh, particular area of the game. Uh, we've pretty much just seen this outside part. So uh, let's start by breaking this rock. And see what's inside here. Uh, lots of gems. Uh, gems, gems, gems. Uh, there's a level here. Robotica Farms. That sounds interesting. Uh, we'll go there next time, I think. Robotica Farms. Uh, for the moment, though, we're just going to have a look around the home, as I mentioned. See if we can track down all the loot. Uh, again, I have never played this far into the game before. This is all completely new to me. Um, the stairs here, we've got some gems. We can add those to our gem stash, like so. Uh, we got some warps back to the previous areas. Summer Forest is over there. Autumn Plains is over there. Uh, Ripto's Arena. I assume that's where we'll fight the final boss once we... Oh. Now that you've got the orbs, Ripto's demise is only moments away, right? Right? Well, anyway, good luck. He's right through this door. Oh, the door just opened immediately? Okay. Uh, I guess I had enough orbs. It sounds like I needed to have a bunch of orbs. I don't know if... Oop. Uh. Um, I wasn't expecting to go into this cutscene. I might just skip this for now, and... Oh, wait, let me skip it. Oh, it will. Okay. I might just skip this and exit back to the home world. I'm not finding Ripto until we've done everything else. I'm not sure why it activated in the middle of the corridor when I was just trying to grab the treasure. Um, sorry about that. Um, okay, I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing this yet. You, can, you don't have to. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Don't don't spoil anything. Exit level. We'll go. We'll come back to this later. Okay. Oops. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't understand why it didn't make me actually go through a doorway or something. In the other two boss areas, you have to jump down a hole. In this one, you just walk into a corridor and it activates. That's weird. Uh, and they put gems in there to entice me to go in and, and grab the gems. So I, I went in and I grabbed the gems. How foolish of me to, to do what the game enticed me to do. Um, anyway, we'll come back to that later. Um, for the moment, we're just going to have a look around the home here and see what else we can find. I'm guessing going down there is lethal because I cannot see anything good down there and it's very far. So uh, we're just going to make our way into this wall here. Grab an orb. I wonder how many you actually need to get to the end of the game. It seems like we have enough, but I don't know how many that is. <laughs> Um, just gonna make our way around here and just grab everything we can get our little claws on. Our cute little dragon claws that we have because we are Spyro the dragon. Or at least, you know, Spyro is and we're, we're, we're controlling Spyro the dragon. You, you know how video games work, I don't need to explain it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm just going to try to grab everything in the home in this video, and then we'll check out some of the levels in the Winter Tundra once we've done that. Uh, this video is too short, I might go ahead and do a level as well. I can see you've learned the value of orbs, Spyro. This touchy gate should work perfectly with the help of your impressive orb collection. Thanks. Metropolis. Okay, so I guess you need to get enough orbs to get into the levels in the last... Realm? Oh right, they don't have they don't have relics, right? You must just need a certain number of orbs to do everything, which is interesting because like that's how a lot of these thirty platformers work all the time. Like uh, Mario sixty four and Odyssey, you just need a certain number of stars. It doesn't matter which ones you get. And in Spyro one, you just need a certain number of each collectible in order to advance to the next world. Whereas in this game, up until now, you needed to do every level and get the relics in order to advance. So that's an interesting change. Hmm. I wonder why they decided to make it different in this world compared to the first two. 
Oh, how'd you get over here, Professor? You were in the other room. Well, it's some consolation that you've collected so many orbs. My high-tech portal here will take you to Cloud Temples. Okay, so to unlock all these levels, you need to collect a large number of orbs, I guess? I don't know what number that is, because it won't tell me, but... How are we doing? Are we selling a bit more treasure? Uh, where is it? Yeah, these skating areas are pretty annoying. You can't jump while you're skating along. Even if you press the jump button to say, I'd like to jump, but it doesn't do anything. It's pretty annoying. Uh, okay, so we're still missing a little bit of treasure. That way, huh, Sparks? Hmm. Below us? Is it possible to get below us? Uh, let me see what this does. Oh! Oh, that takes you higher than I was expecting. Uh, okay. <laughs> Butter. Um... Nope. It looks like there's little holes there for stuff to hide in, but there's, there's nothing in there. Hmm. And this was just a side room, yeah. Is there anything behind it? Nope. Where's the last little bit of treasure? Where is it, Sparks? Well, there's another portal here, but that one doesn't seem to do anything. Unless I need to do something to activate it, and then it'll do something? I don't- I don't know. Also, this world seems a bit smaller than the others. Maybe they ran out of time, and that's why there's only three worlds, and this one's also kind of short. Sparks definitely thinks there's something here, but I don't see it. Do I need to, like, head bash somewhere? Make something happen? No. Didn't do anything. Hmm. I am a little confused as a treat. Oh, is there anything around here? Uh, doesn't look like it. Um, hmm. Penguin. Sparks is definitely saying to go straight down, which is not an option as far as I know. Oh, 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 hang on, what's all this? <laughs> Oh my goodness, there's a bunch of stuff down here. Uh, we got, we got like a, a swimmy area? Okay, maybe this hub isn't that small, but there's still only three. I, I feel like that was probably a rushed thing. Like, they couldn't have as many as in the first game. I think this is a shorter game than the first one. Although I haven't, you know, measured or anything, so I could be wrong. Uh, anyway, we want to go for a little swim here. Okay, and we have to pay to open this one, I bet. One last speedway adventure for you, Spyro. It's not that expensive, you know. Fine. You've chosen wisely. I bet a quick dragon like you will win I mean, I don't really want to do the speedways, but I, I may as well unlock everything in the game. 400 out of 400. Okay, I can see that there's an orb up there. How do I reach it? Um... Because, like, although I can swim here, I can't swim up a waterfall. Um, we're not playing Breath of the Wild here. Um, is there another doorway that I've missed? Maybe in this direction somewhere? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Um... We're on top of this piece. Whoop, no, so that's too slippery to walk on. Okay, hmm. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to do a level as well, because it's only been like 10 minutes, and I just need to get that orb to clear the entire home world. Uh, I think this home world is a bit smaller, actually. Maybe a, just a little bit smaller? Is it possible to glide all the way down that hole and do it that way? I no, that won't work. It's just too high. You need to get to the other side somehow. But I don't know how to do that. 
Let's just like charging into the wall do the trick. No. Figured it wouldn't. Hmm. That rock's a bit suspicious. Can I break it? I charge at it and hit the wrong wall by accident. <laughs> um Nope, doesn't do anything. Hmm. Yeah, you can see the cave sort of curves off that direction, so I guess I need to go somewhere that's further this way. Like, around here somewhere. But also a bit higher up. Um. Hmm. Where's that whirlwind? Hi, penguins. Hmm. Well, this is taking me down a little bit, but it's going pretty much the wrong way. So, this is like a curb somewhere that I didn't notice. Mm, doesn't look like it. Hmm. Um, some wooden stuff, no, yeah, can't, can't, can't burn the wooden stuff, hmm, like, there's nothing else there, like, it's just that one orb, because otherwise there'd be some treasure there as well, and this is not, um, hmm, Doing the head bonk is kind of fiddly. Uh. Maybe there was something higher up that I needed to do? I, I don't know. I am confused. Um. Hang on, there's a waterfall. Oh, 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 I get it. I get it. Yep. Yep, this is it. This is what you do. Jump down the waterfall, then you swim through somewhere. Um, which way do you go? Oh, you dive! Okay, okay. Okay, and then, yeah, you keep swimming down, keep swimming down. Okay. And yeah, because we were much higher up before, so yeah, you need to swim down. Yeah. It's kind of hard to see where I'm going. <laughs> um, hmm. Aha! 50! Yeah! <laughs> All orbs collected. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna take on a level as well, so... Let's just, uh, I guess the robot one. That sounded interesting. Let's go into there and get that done as well, and that'll be a video. Uh, da, da, da. There it's Robotica Farms. We've nearly done Spyro 2 at this point. Um... I'm looking forward to Spyro 3, which is a game I have never played at all. I have no idea what to expect in Spyro 3. <sighs> Entering Robotica Farms. <clears throat> Entering Robotica Farms. Okay, so we've got little robot bees. We got robot farmers. And the robot farmers are putting the robot bees to sleep with sleepy gas. And then there's a big robot bee thing. Whose side am I on here? Because, I mean, the farmer like poisoned the bees or something. It seems pretty bad. Oh, I'm on your side? Mm. 
<sighs> Fine. If you say so. What did I just eat? Oh, I see. Okay. What is this thing? Oh, I see. It spits out new versions of that. Alright. Yeah, I need another one of these. Whatever they are. Seeds? Maybe? Yeah. Okay, then we got uh, big metal carrots. Yeah, of course. <laughs> hmm. I, I mean, I guess they weren't really killing the bees. Maybe they were. I don't know. I, I know that when when like beekeepers use gas or whatever, it's it's to sedate the bees. It's not poisonous. Can I? Oops. Can I ram those? Yes, I can. Excellent. Uh, I meant to jump on you? Oh, I meant to I meant to ground pound you because I have that move now. <laughs> right. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, um Oh, that's not a ground pounded spot? Alright. Looks like one. I'm taking a lot of hits. Where is that sheep? Where did the sheep go? There's a sheep. Oh, that's cute. You just, you just get up, you just singe all their fur, like their, their wool off, and then they're just a, just a naked sheep. And then, then they die. From being on fire, I assume, not from being naked. The first bit was cute, though. The, 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 the bit where you singe all the fur off and, and the sheep is embarrassed. Okay, um, I think we're probably good to go. Red to go. Oh yeah, I don't know if I want the new Shante or not. It's it's very Metroidvania style, but apparently it's not as good as Half Genie Hero. And also, you know, way forward are kind of creepy. So there's that. I just I like Metroidvanias. <laughs> uh, and I don't like creepy developers. Uh, Vanias? Va Vanii? The va hmm. Whatever the plural of Vania is. Okay, there we go. Golden sparks. Oh, oh, okay. Those don't damage you, but they do knock you around. Okay. Kind of weird. I mean, it, I was expecting to take damage if I accidentally ran into the thing because it looked like it was maybe electrified with the blue part, but no, no, it just it just kicks you around a little bit. Is this a physics puzzle? <gasps> I mean, it's it's not really a puzzle, but it's still cool. I, li I like to see seesaw things in video games. <laughs> Reminds me of that one part in Half-Life 2 where it's like, okay, so you've uh, gotten through past all those bad guys and whatever, now you need to put some cinder blocks onto a seesaw so you can get across. Oh, there's an invisible wall there. It's because they wanted to show off that Half-Life 2 had this real great physics engine, which is very weird, actually, by modern standards. <laughs> I don't know how to hit those guys without taking a hit. I guess spitting these things at them works, but there wasn't one of those nearby, so... Hmm. Doesn't matter. Um, I'm doing fine. Hello. Please zap me. Thank you. Um, nom 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 nom. I like how puffed out Sparrow's cheeks get. It's cute. I think they should be more auto-targeting on that, because it's just fiddly to, to aim that at things. Mm. It does have a little bit of auto-targeting, but... Eh, I'm lazy. <laughs> uh, a lot of gems hidden down here in the carrot patches. What are these farms even doing? Like, they're full of robots. Like, ro robots... Do the, 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 the plants, like, actually grow? Are they, like... Are they, like, nanomachines or whatever that 
replicate? Or what is happening? <laughs> um, I have questions about robotic farms. I wonder if there's a power-up that I'm gonna get once I've taken out enough enemies. There usually is, but I don't know what it might be, because I haven't seen any archways yet. Take that, Jack. <laughs> oh! Oh. Take that, me. <laughs> oh my goodness. How are we doing? Uh, there's a lot to do, so we're gonna be a little while here. This video right might run over because I decided to do home and then a level. We'll, we'll see how we go. What did it do? Did do? I guess you're supposed to wait until they stop shooting and start like dancing, and then you can get them. All right, you can't headbunk those. Um, need to like hit them with an explosive of some kind. I wonder if these things will like activate. Oh, I bet the fan will start spinning and then they'll be like, then they'll like launch you up in the air. Okay. Uh, I haven't managed to get to that part yet, but it's gonna be cool. Okay, probably don't wanna go in that water because it's, it's electrified. I don't know if I want to. I don't really like siding with the farmers here, like, they're just bugs. Are they even eating crops or are they just hanging out on your robot scarecrows? Do you even have crops? How are you supposed to flame them? Like, they're very quick. They just run to the next scarecrow immediately. Can I break the scarecrow so they don't have somewhere to land or something? Are they from robot scarecrows? Or they just like metal scarecrows. Like they don't seem to have any kind of motion. Um, I know that they look like robots, but they don't seem to have any autonomy or behavior. They just sort of sit there. And like a robot scarecrow that actually moved would be more effective at scaring these bugs away. How am I supposed to get them? What am I missing here? Am I just supposed to keep chasing them like this? Yeah, that actually did work. Okay. Okay. Okay, two out of four. Okay, we're doing, we're doing good, we're doing good. Uh, it's a little scary though, just because of the electricity that you might fall into if you're not careful. Oh, to be a robot bug. Be safe from that sort of thing. Did I get all of them? Oh, no I didn't. I'm sure I got all of them. I thought I saw the other one get zapped, but eh, I mustn't have done. There we go. That's four. Uh, I definitely got it. Is there some sort of glitch going on here? What's happening? Oh, they're respawning and the numbers are going- Oh my god. Is that a thing? Oh no. Oh no. Don't you dare. Not allowed. There should probably be a charge button as a trigger, like ZR is also flame and that might be useful for situations like this when you're trying to run and jump and flame stuff all at the same time. But I don't think there's a trigger for uh, charging, which makes it a bit tricky. As usual, the uh, Sphere missions are real annoying. Um, something that seems to happen a lot is that these are annoying and bad. Um, the normal gameplay is pretty decent. <laughs> um, I'm not sure why they do this. But yeah, these are definitely respawning. So that sucks. Um, is there a trick that I'm missing that it makes it less annoying or is it just annoying?
And another one has already spawned, of course. You gotta get them all at once, I think. Which is just baffling. <sighs> oh my god. This is not fun. This is bad. And I'm not enjoying it. Oh my god. It's a freaking orb. Jerk. Okay, um, I guess I'll come back to that later. There's probably something else I need to break it with. Oh, uh, that's an elevator? Hang on. Is it gonna come back down so I can stand on it? Yes, okay. Up. Some sort of on-screen indication of when it's gonna move would be real good, but I don't think there is one, so that's annoying. Oh, hello, Rocket. You're gonna... Yeah, it's gonna go over there, right? And take out... Yeah. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. How do you reach that one up there? Maybe with the... with the, um... little... whatever it is. <laughs> I can't use words today. Didn't they get two shots and then they stop? No. No, they get more than two shots. Uh, awesome. I think being zapped should really heal you as well. It, it doesn't, and it's obnoxious that it doesn't. Hmm. Seesaw puzzle time! Oh! Go away, I'm doing a seesaw puzzle. Do you have no respect for the classics of video game design? <sighs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I am hoping to find some sheep, because I have no dragonfly. There's one. Hello sheep, where are you going? I don't know why burning up a sheep makes a butterfly appear, but you know, whatever. Hello butterfly. Yeah, I'm button. Okay, full health. Okay, we got a golden sparks again. Let's go, Golden Sparks. Okay. <sighs> Okay, time to do a seesaw puzzle. That's what I'm talking about. Seesaw puzzle. Can 
Can I go across here? Or are those little things gonna get in my way? Are they painful? No, they're... Uh, they're not painful, but there's like a wall of, of force field nearby. Okay. <laughs> if, you say, if you say so. Um... You flip those guys as fast as possible because you have to charge them and if they're spinning around. When you charge them, you take damage. Uh, and as far as I can tell, they only start spinning when they see you, so if you're quick, you're all good. I do not like those guys. I have no idea how to fight them without taking a hit. Uh, okay, see you time. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Oh my god. Let's try that again. We're doing a seesaw puzzle. That means we have to do it right. Seesaw puzzle, very important. Oh my god. This is annoying. <laughs> this level is actually quite frustrating. Um, oh, I think there's actually a bigger gap between some than there are between the others, maybe? Yeah, it's like they come in pairs or something. Yeah, that's the way. Okay, then we want to go over there, where that guy is. And do that. Okay, okay, okay. We're doing fine, we're doing fine. Hello, sheep. Hello, other sheep. Join my team, sheep. Or butterfly, as the case may be. Hello, sheep. Okay. Okay, we're all good. Can I get up there? It's a little too high. I might need to wait for something to help me get up there. Jump, jump. Okay, you want an orb, or you have an orb and you want me to do some random garbage to give me the orb. Y you know what I mean. Okay. Actually, maybe you're the one who just... I just flipped the switch and that's it. Yeah, okay, cool. <sighs> that's alright then, I guess. What is happening to your legs? Uh, yeah, you can reward me. Uh, you could give me... Oh, I want all. Alright. I haven't even decided what I wanted yet, but, you know. Go off, I guess. Um... I'm guessing activating that also activated some other stuff. Can I touch it? No, okay. Kind of, I don't know how a bug zapper is going to work if the bugs can't get in, but... Alright. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I can glide over to there, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Oh, supercharge? Yeah, I guess that's cool. I do like supercharging. There's also the mystery bottle that we have to deal with. I don't think there's any time limit on that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and we can do the mystery bottle later on. Oh my god. <sighs> supercharge is hard to control. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll hit the mystery bottle again. I might as well do that while we're down here. Actually, all of the ro all of the farmer robots have those weird things going on with their pants. What what is their deal? Like, what is happening? Uh, this is the supercharging path. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, where is that? Close to the beginning of the level somewhere. Uh, I'll get to that in a little bit. For the moment, let's just. Get back to the supercharged starting spot and try to do that again. Do -do -do, do -do -do -do. Oh, dang it. This is gonna be a thing. Um, what if I try to steer a bit less? Maybe I can get the angle right and just... Oh my god! Oh my god! Did I just jump around one of the pumpkins? I did! <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is gonna be a thing. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, I have to get all the way to there, don't I? Oh my goodness. It's gonna loop around the whole whole level. Oh my. Oh, oh. Well, um, I'm down here now. I, I don't know where this is, but uh, I'm down here now. Uh, can I use the propeller or something to get back up? I have to redo all the weird stuff. I think I can use the propeller, but I think there might be one back here. Where am I? This level is kind of hard to navigate. It all looks very similar. I'm not sure why that is. <laughs> not really any like memorable landmarks to the level design, I would say. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, okay, I had to jump all the way over, and I didn't. Uh, do I have to do it all in one run? It looks like it, because there's only one supercharge panel. And it's not too, it's not too hard to reset, but... Ugh. Up! Okay. <laughs> That's annoying. Uh, let's go back this way. Run into the annoying carrots that you can't get rid of, that are getting in the way. And there we go. Propeller time. I don't think- I didn't really expect it to be a- like a regular whirlwind. I thought it would be something different, but it's- it's not. Just regular whirlwind. I was one over there too. That one would probably have worked, yeah. <laughs> missed one. I missed a pumpkin. No! Oh my god. I'm guessing I can't break these normally? Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be quite a thing. <laughs> my goodness gracious. Uh, how do I get back? So I came from up there, but obviously I can't fly to- Oh, hang on. Bar bar the bottle, the bottle, the bottle. Hello, bottle. Okay, it's gone back earlier in level again. <laughs> oh my goodness. If you can't tell, I am having a lot of fun. So... This one isn't too bad. <laughs> the, the chasing the bugs one was annoying, but this one is a lot more fun. At least so far. If I have to keep trying too many times, it will become annoying. We'll see. Okay, so I've got nearly all the treasure, and that lo that's the last orb as well, so I am almost done here, which is cool. Time for a seesaw puzzle. Not really a puzzle, just get on the seesaw and jump off the seesaw before it moves. It's pretty easy. I'm glad they have these, like, shortcuts back that open up once you've reached the end. Otherwise this would be super obnoxious. Okay, here we go again. Holy crap, it's so fast. Oh no! I didn't jump well enough. What am I doing wrong there? It should be working. Maybe I'm jumping too soon? I don't know. It was working. You saw it working in the previous attempts. Oh. Uh, that'll, that'll work. That'll work. Okay. Um... That's more like it. Okay, pumpkin gone. Oh no! Well, now I'm here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just gonna get myself hit by a windmill. I enjoy being hit by a windmill every now and then. 
<laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's just glide back over and give this another shot. That was working before. I'm just, you know, just making some mistakes. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, really? <laughs> really? Oh my goodness. Okay, there's another propeller -y thing over there, so I can just glide this way and get there a little quicker. So I haven't hit that treasure, but I'm gonna do that separately. I keep messing up. Oop, which I do. <laughs> um, which way? This way? Yeah, this is it. I think. Yeah, this is the right way, but I um, fell down. Uh, yeah, let's go jump up here, and yeah, can do it again. Okay. Let me just get a little drink of water here. Oh, sorry about that little crashing there. <laughs> it was not intentional. Okay, we got the treasure. Okay, okay. Now we just gotta do those last couple of pumpkins. Uh, this is really hard. <laughs> uh, it's probably easier than some of the stuff in Spyro 1 you had to do with supercharging. That game was ridiculous, but it's it's hard. Um, anyway, we got all the treasure, so all we gotta do now is just get this one orb and we're good. Um, and I'm having fun, so that's really all that matters. Yeah, I'm jumping too soon, I think. Like, the supercharge jumping off a ramp is a little precise in its timing. Um, which way do I go? I think this way, yeah, okay. It gives you a massive jump if you do it right, but if you do it wrong, it doesn't give you any jump. Ah, dang it. Well, I'm up here. But yeah, you have to get the get through here with the supercharge to break that door and go off the ramp on the other side, so... Um, which way is it? This way? Yeah. I can get on top of that building. Apparently not, huh. I guess you're just not allowed to be on top of it? It looked like I should have been able to stand on it, but but no dice. <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong with the jumps, but it's like if you jump at the wrong time, then the charge overrides it or something, and you just jump like a little bit instead of jumping off the ramp. It's very confusing. And unfortunately, this particular supercharge route is based on doing that over and over rather than, you know, sharp corners like some of the others are. Up! Uh. <sighs> that was close, that was close. We're getting better. We're getting there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Uh, once we pull this off, that'll be the video, so... Not too much longer, unless I mess up real bad a couple more times. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, I had to break that one and then jump so I could hit this step to hit the la- Oh. Oh, that's just mean. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> How does your tractor drive in all these ramps anyway? What the heck kind of tractor do you have? <laughs> there we go.
Thanks. Well, we're done here. That was real hard. Okay, one warp's collected. 100% level complete. Go us. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time... Uh, I'm not sure where we'll go next. One of the other levels, obviously. That sounded- that looked horrible. That's not a happy ending, that's- that's disturbing. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. That was not good. Oh, level was fun, but I don't know how I feel about the morality of it all. Um, hmm. Just doesn't quite sit right. Uh, anyway, so that was Robotica Farms. Next time we're gonna... Hmm. Let me see. Might have a look at this one? What was in here? Metropolis. Yeah, we'll visit Metropolis next time. That's it for now, though. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this was uh, Spyro the Dragon 2, Ripto's Rage, Gateway to Glimmer, uh, The Winter Tundra Home, and Robotica Farms. 100 percented uh, neat. <laughs> Neato burrito. I do need to go to the speedways at some point. I don't know if I'm actually going to do them. I don't know if this game even has a reward for getting like 100% of everything. Uh, we'll see once we've like cleared the main game, but we'll see. We'll see. Speedway stages, just not that interesting. <laughs> They're pretty much the same as in the first game, and you remember I did not like them in the first game. So yeah, uh, that's it for this video. I said that already, but then I kept talking because I do that a lot. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time we're going to go to Metropolis and check that place out. But for now, bye! This video is not unexpected because I accidentally did a whole level as well as the home. Oops. Bye. <laughs>